We're going to be breaking down a duplex in Lorraine, Ohio. We're going over the full deal structure, how much the deal's going to make, everything. Why I like the deal, why I don't like the deal, why I like or don't like Lorraine when we're talking about Lorraine versus Cleveland. We're doing all that today, folks, right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. My name is James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. Please subscribe. Stick around if you want to learn about Cleveland real estate, right? Actually, you should subscribe if you want to learn about real estate in general. But if you want to partner with us one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you got to do so in Cleveland because that's where we're based, right? Guy who's doing that, he's from Cali. His name is Chris. Chris, I got another multifamily for you. This one's in Lorraine. I friggin' love Lorraine. A lot of people are sleeping on Lorraine. They think Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. They always forget about Lorraine, right? So let's talk about Lorraine as well as the property and why I think I can get you a discount on the property right after this. Hi, I'm here for an interview. Holdwise TV. Yep, take a seat with the other applicants. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome back. This this is the portion of the show you might want to grab a piece of paper and a pen uh, or just pay attention and get ready to screenshot some stuff because we do put all the numbers on the screen for you, folks. We definitely get all those out for you, right? This property is the one we're talking about, and it's in uh, Lorraine, Ohio. Lorraine, Ohio is like Cleveland's cousin, I guess, right? I mean, not a lot of people have heard about Lorraine, but I actually right now uh, am more high on Lorraine than I am Cleveland for long-term lower income buy and hold stuff, right? I think Lorraine has got a few benefits uh, that Cleveland doesn't have. One, I think not as many people are focused on Lorraine, so I think we get better pricing. Two, I think uh, the comparable like rental neighborhoods, you know, I'd say they're like C-ish. I, I, I'd say they're a little more stable, honestly, than some of the uh, blue-collar type neighborhoods we work in Cleveland. And then lastly, I just think the government's easier to work with, right? You're talking about these older multifamily properties, right? Like Cleveland has just rolled out their new lead-based paint laws. And, you know, truth be told, it's a little chaotic right now, right? Anytime they make a major overhaul uh, of a law like that, uh, the city's behind. And it, it's just a little chaotic, right? So I really think... The investments right now are just smoother and better priced than Lorraine, right? Uh, just fewer investors fighting over it because you don't hear about Lorraine on the national stage, right? Cleveland Indians, Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Cavs, uh, the Rock Hall in Cleveland, right? Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. All you talk about is Cleveland, right? Nobody's ever heard of Lorraine, right? So unless you're paying attention to the show, uh, you're just, it's not on your radar, right? It's like a half hour away, right? So we are, we are doing really well in Lorraine, right? So because of that, I think you're going to do very, very well on this property. It's listed at 96.9 and it's been on the market for 97 days, right? If this was in Cleveland, dude, it probably would have already been smoked by now, right? 1761 East 32nd, Lorraine. This is a friggin' side-by-side, -side, folks. This is the best type of investment you can get. Side-by-side, -side and it is brick, dude. Like, that's as good as it gets, man. Side-by-side -side investments, like, if you have the opportunity to buy a duplex and you could choose a side-by-side -side over an up-down, you absolutely should, right? Because when you have an up-down Dude on the upstairs is always banging on the floor saying the dude below him is too loud and vice versa, right? People on top of each other, right? These are older buildings, right? The, the, the sounds, right? They carry, okay? Especially if you go hardwood floors, which you should. If you're doing uh, C and B and C, like D, C, and maybe a little bit of B type uh, rental property investing, man, you really don't want carpet in your, your properties because... Uh, as you get more and more tenant turnovers, you just got to keep spending money replacing the carpet, right? So if you could refinish your hardwoods, uh, that's an expense that you save on subsequent turnovers, right? But when you have up-down duplexes, 
uh, it really makes the noise carry, okay? So when you have the opportunity to buy a side-by-side, -side, you should definitely take it, right? The downside to the Cleveland market, and that's Cleveland, Lorraine, all the cities, right? We got a whole bunch of duplexes, and like 95% of them are up-downs, right? So if you ever get the opportunity to buy a side-by-side, -side, it's a rarity. You should do so, right? And that's what we got here. Now, as I just scrolled through the photos, you saw the vacant unit. One of the units is already occupied at 650. Truth be told, they should have got 750, but that's okay. Holton Wise will rent this other unit for you for 750, and then we'll eventually increase your other tenant's rent. It looks fairly turnkey to me. Maybe this kitchen's going to need some love, but obviously this uh, <clears throat> picture is like way the fuck zoomed in, and it's like really hard to tell. So, like, maybe we want to put a couple bucks into this, like, sprucing this unit up. Uh, but it's kind of hard to tell from the pictures. But, like, you could probably assume we'll do a little something like that. Uh, after we go through more due diligence after this video, like, do the general home inspection, we'll have a better idea of what we really need to do to turn that unit to make sure we get you a $750 tenant, right? And then, like I said, the other unit... Currently, they rented it at 650. Uh, we'll just when the lease comes up for renewal, we'll want to increase that, right? We'll get these people up to 750, 750, right? So it should be bringing in 15 hundo. That's 18k for the year, right? They're on the market for 97 days, and again, I really believe that's because just not a lot of people are focused on Lorraine. It's like literally under the radar. So I think we can utilize that to our advantage. Come in and pick it up even cheaper. Get you a little discount. 90k, right? We wouldn't be able to get that in Cleveland. There's just too much money being thrown at Cleveland right now, Cleveland itself, right? So 90K is where I want to be, right? 15 comes in a month after your fixed and variable expense estimates. I believe you'll be making an NOI of approximately 767.93, right? And this is what's awesome about real estate investing, man. The bank pays for most of the property, right? You put down 22,500, the bank kicks in 67 and a half. That nets out to a 26% cash on cash return, right? How awesome is this, man? Big beautiful side-by-side -side brick duplex and you're picking it up for less than 23k i don't even think you could buy like a freaking kia for under 23k that's why folks are traveling from all over the world to the cleveland market and when you come to the cleveland market you meet somebody like me and i could go in and really find those hidden gems for you which this one absolutely is so let me know what you want to do i think making an offer right now today at 90k is the right move thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment